So if we learned anything from the terrible uh, infrastructure disaster, the sinkhole that happened on 15 Mile Road a number of years ago, we learned the necessity for inspection, for inspecting all of our critical underground infrastructure and inspecting it on a regular basis as much as we possibly can within the dollars that we have, right? And the technology that we have as well. And so today, the Macomb County Public Works Department uh, is very excited and delighted to announce that we will be the first one in the state of Michigan to be using some new technology, artificial intelligence, AI as it's commonly called. So we have some new AI, artificial intelligence sewer software, and as well as that, we have a very snazzy drone here uh, that we're going to be utilizing by putting these two things together and being able to inspect our critical underground infrastructure as often as we want. And then obviously when we get all of the information from this drone uh, and then put it into our software, our artificial intelligence, our AI software, uh, we're able to determine what the condition of our underground infrastructure is, every one of our pipes, all of our interceptors, and then of course, it allows our management team to put together a capital improvements program to make sure that our infrastructure is maintained properly, that it services the community properly, and the best thing about all of this, by using today's technology, we are going to be saving literally millions of dollars. So we are way ahead of the curve, and we're very excited with that. And today, I'm holding this drone, uh, which is a, <laughs> looks like something out of Star Wars, right? And uh, Vince Astorino, who is our uh, operations manager, is going to explain to you what we are looking at and how this works. Yep, so this drone is it's about 16 inches in diameter. Um, we can actually lower it down into the sewer and fly through a pipe. Uh, this is done with a, a pilot basically on top of the surface with a controller. We can lower an antenna down to the bottom of the interceptor, you know, 50 plus feet deep if need be, um, and then fly this thing down a pipe. We've flown it down 54 inch pipe, 12 foot diameter pipe at this point. Uh, we plan to kind of fly through that range at the moment. Uh, we've flown thousand foot runs or you know less than that now and this is able to get high quality 4k resolution footage um, with extremely well lit up uh, pipe within there to allow us to identify all the defects that are in that pipe um, you can see there's a camera on the front lights on the side um, these little lights are yeah, amazing yep and as he says here's the camera here's the lights and then there are sensors all over it, so yep. we don't crash it into keeps the it side away, of the Keeps pipes, it away right? from the wall, and, and the cage protects it as well, just in case something was to happen. Um, yeah, and we can just we can fly right through. And the quality of the what you're getting off of this, it, yeah. of what we have been utilizing, Correct. everybody uses, right? Correct. What the standard in the industry is yep. to what this is is it's not just oh it's just marginally better. It's light years better. Correct. Really Correct. allows it's, you to take a deep dive into exactly what's happening. The pipe's well lit up, the footage is well lit up, and you can see any defects that have been there uh, generationally or things that are happening now. Yep. All of that, right? It, it's right now we're inspecting around 150,000 linear feet of pipe every three years. The footage we've been getting has been extremely difficult for us to come up with those comprehensive plans of what we need to do. Adding these tools into our toolbox to be able to better identify the needs across the system has been a night and day difference for us, so. So sometimes we're, you know, we hear about some of these technologies, right? AI, artificial intelligence, sort of scary to many of us, certainly to me in many, many instances, but we also have to embrace the technology that's there because really what is AI? It's sort of a, a data aggregator, right? It gives you all this data uh, and aggregates it and then you can make decisions based on that. And in our case, you know, we're in the underground business. So we've been looking at this and sort of uh, Vince and his team has really been examining some of the different software packages that might be available that could be utilized for this. And then also uh, getting this drone. As I say, I think we are certainly the first in the state of Michigan, maybe one of the first in the nation uh, to be using this. But this is the wave, right? This is the way it's gonna go. And uh, in the future, it's just so much better. And again, it's, 
it's better for the taxpayers. It's better for the rate payers because we need to know what we've already invested in and we need to know what we need to do to maintain, to rehabilitate, to get ahead of all of these issues so you don't have another sinkhole where 15 mile road, you've got houses falling into a sinkhole on 15 mile road. I mean, think about that. If we could have had this and really been ahead of many, many of these things that happen, whether it's a big sinkhole, a small sinkhole, or just your, I mean, you're, you always have to maintain infrastructure, but it's very expensive. So you need to really know what you have, what you, as I say, what we've already invested in and then what we need to do to put together short-term and long-term maintenance uh, plans uh, to identify and to, uh, and to keep up to speed with all of these things. I think what's really a great spin-off benefit of all of this new technology is the cost. For less than $100,000 for both the drone and all of the software for the uh, artificial intelligence, the sewer AI, it's less than $100,000 for both of these things and yet we are saving, we are going to save, in the short term, in the long term, millions of dollars. And not only that, we are also gonna save an incredible amount of staff time mm -hmm. because our staff does not have to evaluate and review hours and hours and hours of footage trying to figure out what they're looking at, et cetera. Instead of that, we run all this footage through the sewer AI and it just spits out the answers, really. Yeah. Follow us on social media. For more information, explore our website. Reach out via email or connect through our toll-free hotline, 1-877-679-4337.